guys, it is Wednesday and I'm heading over to my mom's house. We are, if you hear breathing, I've got Monica here too. Um, we are going to try to start getting together once a week to do art kinds of things. And my mom, as most of you guys know, is a very talented artist. She shows in galleries and if you look her up, on Facebook, um, she's at Lynn Overend Watercolors, and she's just got beautiful work. So anyway, um, we're getting together to do alcohol ink, is what it's called. I am not, I am not artistic, but alcohol ink is um, something that you don't really have to have any talent to do. <laughs> and it just sort of happens by accident. So I'll show you what it what it's like. It's really quite cool. Um, I mean, there are ways of doing some things that, you know, you can really up your game with using alcohol ink. And my mom's going to be doing some stuff today. She was telling me about I'm just doing some basic stuff, but um, yeah, so we've decided that we're gonna try once a week to get together to do stuff, you know? So maybe not the same thing, like maybe one time she'll be painting, her, you know, watercolor, a watercolor painting and I'll be doing something else, but you know, my, I mostly do craft kind of things. I'm not very artistic. I can make stick figures, yeah, that's about it. But yeah, so I thought that would be fun. We've just had so many things that have come up that have kept us from doing stuff like this. And um, namely, having a baby all this time. And then since the baby left, we have had stuff interfere. So now, um, yeah, now we're, gonna, now we're gonna start doing this. And I'm bringing Monica with because my mom has a dog and my mom's dog doesn't actually like Monica very much. I mean, she doesn't hate her. It's just that my mom's dog is older and Monica is crazy. And so she, she's, not, she's not terribly fond of her, but I thought it would be good for them to spend some time together. Guys, I'm at my mom's house. We have our alcohol ink stuff out. Let me show you what alcohol ink work looks like before I show you the spread of supplies. So this is some stuff that I've made. Uh, oh, this is upside down. So this was one. It's just real abstract. Although this one turned out to look like something. Flowers, I love this one. This one, Mom? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then this good. is another one. You kind of blow with a straw to move the ink. And then I was making bookmarks. And so, see the gold on there? Isn't that pretty? But, um, yeah, so these are little bookmarks. I was making these, and, and I was going to give them to my book club, and then COVID happened. <laughs> I haven't been back. So, yeah. So this is kind of cool. What? Oh, here's some of my mom's alcohol inks. Of course, hers put mine to shame. Look at that. Look at that. That's real whimsical. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously. How in the world? This one has a little gold on it. See? The shimmery. Yeah. Really pretty. Okay. Here's the table. Now, my mom, for Christmas, got me all these inks and this white pen and some bottles to water down some of the inks and the paper that you use, which is really like plastic. It's called Yupo. And... Um, she got me all this stuff for Christmas, and then we got a baby. <laughs> so I've not used any of it. Um, I've done alcohol ink with her, with her stuff, and so this is actually the first time I'm using my Christmas present from 2019. But I'll show you how we're doing. Mom, do you want to be on camera? I know Nancy Lee no. wanted to see you. Okay. So, and there's my mom. Hi. She's gonna, she's gonna um, be showing me. Oh, there's one of her paintings there behind her on the wall. Have more to go with these sunflowers. Huh? Yeah, to go with those sunflowers. So, oh, the other yeah. one over there. Oh, here, let me give you a real quick spin because you guys know my mom moved. So, um, so all my art stuff out, over here. Though. We do. We have a lot of art stuff out. You can see there too. But yeah, this is a really nice little 
really nice little house. Her master bedroom's over there. Her laundry room is here, down this hallway. She's got a couple other um, bedrooms near the front door. And then, this is her backyard. Oops, I just ran into the screen. So, that's her backyard. Kind of backs up to a little open area. No houses behind her, which is nice. So. More of my mom's alcohol leaves. So it's just kind of can be really random how they, how they turn out. How they turn out. You can blow the stuff. You can take the, You can move the paper and let it run different ways. So. That's what we're doing. All right. So this is a technique my mom is doing. Attempting. Attempting for the first time. And you want to tell them what you're gonna do? Well, <clears throat> I am going to get this ink spread out, and then I'm gonna set these glasses on here and bowls in various places and try to make bubbles, what looks like bubbles. So this is alcohol ink that's been watered down with more alcohol, right? Mm -hmm. It's not just straight ink. Right. So, and you have to use 90, the 91% alcohol, not the 70% isopropyl alcohol or it just doesn't do its thing. Let me show you this cool thing over here. So my mom had these trays of ink that she was working with, and then they dry up because alcohol dries pretty fast. But then, so this is completely dry, but then you put alcohol in there, not the 70% or it won't work, but the 90, and all of a sudden this just reconstitutes and you can paint with it again. So, <clears throat> so now she's blowing with a straw to move it around. Getting kind of one solid color yeah, brown. There. <laughs> it is. Not what I had in mind. I'm trying to get that out to the edges. Yeah. The cool thing about this stuff is that you can actually use alcohol to wipe 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 it off, to wash it off, and you could start over. Which I think I'm going to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was thinking about that section if you uh -huh. needed to. I'm going to see what happens with the bowl. Yeah, but I don't like all that brown, so I think I'm going to wash it off and start Okay, over. so she's going to start over. I'll show you the next one. All right, so now she's got a different one going here. Mm -hmm. And we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> That's kind of how this whole alcohol ink thing is. You just kind of play with it, and then sometimes it starts looking like something, and you go with that. Sometimes it's just pretty. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it's just pretty. My mom was doing this with a friend of hers, and she ended up making a cat, but she didn't start out trying to make a cat. Did she? Mm -mm. No. It just happened. Okay, so now we're putting the glass down. Who thought of this? I have no idea. Let's see what happens. Take them off after lunch. Oh, you just leave them there? Mm-hmm. Oh. While it dries. Wow. Okay. Well, there yeah. You go. My mom didn't like how the other one turned out. I'll show you what she did with it. So she's got another one going here um, that we'll, we'll see how it goes. But the other one didn't turn out the way she wanted, so she cut part of it off. She said she thought it looked like a tick or some kind of bug, so she went ahead and made it into a bug. And she's only saving this because when she teaches a class about this, she's going to say sometimes, sometimes accidents. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so We're that's calling it coronavirus. Yeah, cor <laughs> it's a bug. Yeah, um, that's the virus, the bug. No one wants. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see what that one turns out like, and I'll show you what I've been doing. So um, I have made. I don't like this one at all, but I made these three. These are bookmarks. This one's got kind of gold and stuff yeah. in it, and um, then I made this one. I'm not sure what I think of it yet. But it was really bad at one point, and then I did a few things to sort of salvage it. 
So, I don't know. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. It seems like there's something else that's missing, but I don't know what it is yet. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, on we go. Okay, so this is what she came up with. I think it's cool looking. Better than the... The brown the, blob. The, the bug. bug. The bug, yeah. <laughs> so, that's cool. Trying to make bubbles. Are you going to do the edges? I something with the edges? I don't know what to do with them. I think it looks neat. I think once it's framed, mm -hmm. it'll look kind of neat. It would be all right. kind of hate to ruin it. Yeah, I like that. Cool. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I'm taking Monica out to doggy day camp and um, I have a few things going on today. I've got a small freelance project that I am working on this morning and then I'm meeting my friends Pam and Vicki on campus for lunch. We're going to sit out on the grass and have a picnic lunch. Um, it's The weather is so weird here. We have had the warmest well, summer and fall, and um, last Sunday, I think it was 80 or 79 as a high, which is crazy for this time of year. We normally start going down to freezing about the third week of September, and we've not hit freezing yet. So, but what's really strange is that, okay, tomorrow, today's supposed to be low 70s. I think tomorrow's supposed to be low 70s. Um, then I think it drops a little bit more on Saturday and Sunday I think the high is 41 or something like that and it's gonna go down to 20 and Monday we have a 60% chance of snow yeah just just weird so um, but I'm, I'm happy for the change of season I'm actually really glad about it So, hey you guys, um, had a great lunch with Pam and Vicki, and um, it's been a long time since we've all three been together. We just sat out on the lawn. It was a beautiful day over on campus, as you can see from that previous clip. Um, boy, oh boy, this Diana thing <laughs> is just right below the surface, I'll tell you. I was talking to them. Um, they, of course, were asking me, all kinds of questions about her being gone and how am I doing and and all of that um, and I, I there was a song that I heard yesterday that um, just I just started to cry and I didn't I haven't cried in a while and um, I just realized just how close to the surface this thing is and I was telling them about about this song and I started to cry again I'm probably gonna cry right now but I don't know if you guys have heard this I'm gonna link it in the space below but it's a song by Celine Dion it's a remake kind of well it not a remake really it's got different words um, as the the song by Josh Groban and Charlotte Church the prayer um, well Celine Dion does a version of that song called a mother's prayer and it starts out and it says, um, I pray you'll be my eyes and <laughs> I pray you'll be my eyes and watch her as she goes. And, uh, and help her to be wise and help me to let go. Every mother's prayer, every child knows. And then I can't remember the, <laughs> the rest of it from there. Plus, I'm just going to cry. So, I've been getting back to my life, but <sighs> boy, sometimes. The Sometimes, um, sometimes it just hits me how hard it was to say goodbye to her. 
actually has. My mom just sent me this. She went back and rewatched the Alcohol Ink video that about the bubbles, and she went back and tried this today. And did that not turn out so cool? I don't know what she did differently, but it just gave all kinds of dimension. If you go back to the one she did yesterday, it looks a lot, it's cool looking, I think, but it looks a lot flatter. And this one just has, like, look at this. This just, there's depth. It's like this bubble is definitely up higher than that one, you know? So cool. What a cool idea. Of course, my mom is really talented. I would probably do the same exact thing as her, and it would look flat or or like a bug, like her first try. All right, just made a batch of kombucha here. Now it has to sit for a couple of weeks until or a little over a week. It kind of depends on. And uh, let it brew and ferment, and then we'll have some kombucha ready to drink. Well... It was 80 degrees last Sunday, like a week ago, and we got snow last night. Just a teeny bit, as you can see. Just a dusting, but it was good. While we were gone over the weekend, I, I didn't tell you guys that I went to Phoenix. Um, it, it's, it, the wind blew so much. I mean, we had cleared all the pine needles up, and now look at It's just like this thick blanket of pine needles. So... Yeah, we got more to do. And then everything, look at that, dead dead leaves instantly. Um, so, yep, it was supposed to go down to, I think, 26 last night. And then uh, tonight, I think it goes down to 19. So it's, it's getting cold fast. Well, there's the temperature, a nice 26 degrees. Just finished making another basket. This one is for John. I gotta learn a little bit more about how to, you know, more smoothly bind off the end of this. Um, yeah, I'm not loving how that looks there. But um, anyway, this is using that um, waxed polyester thread, and I love it. And I would say this is probably the the tidiest basket I have made so far um, in the time that I've been making them. But I really like using this waxed thread because you can tug really tightly and without breaking the thread and get everything secured in place. But So it not only looks really pretty, but it smells really good. It won't continue to smell like pine, pine needles forever, but I'm gonna um, give this to John. He. He likes it, and so he's going to put it on his dresser to like put his watch and rings and stuff like that. So there you go. We have deer this morning in the backyard. There's a few of them right there. I don't know if you saw down there. Way down there, there's actually babies. Just a, a buck? The deer, I guess, or is it an elk? I don't know. It's huge. I walked out here and I just saw antlers and thought, what the heck do they have? I thought my neighbors had something in their yard. Oh my gosh. He's all alone, but that's how it goes. The males usually are by themselves and the women all hang out together. <laughs> the women. He's eating what's left of my neighbor's garden. I haven't seen a male um, deer or elk. I haven't seen any elk all summer. I think we only see them in the winter here, but I haven't seen any male deer. I, I don't know what that is, but it's so cool. So I, I just texted John a picture of this guy and his response was, he's probably escaped a bullet because he lives in town. And so, which means probably because of that rack he has, he's got his head down right now, but because of that rack he has, he's probably several years old. So, you know, he's a smart guy for living in the city limits because nobody can shoot him. 
There are two of them, actually. That was the one I filmed before, and then there's this guy that I didn't see. They're both four point bucks. Or is that one three? I don't know. John said they're probably four or five years old, and they've probably been living on the golf course, which is just maybe a mile to the north of here. And that's probably why they've gotten to be this age. Nobody's killed them because they, <laughs> they're smart. They live in the city limits. And okay, you guys, we're getting down to the last of the tomatoes. I had, if you may remember, this big dish that was loaded to the top um, with tomatoes from the garden. And before we had that freeze, I picked everything that was green and shiny. Uh, some of them turned out not to ripen like this one. It looks shiny, but the outside of it feels, it probably won't have a really nice texture to it. It might not end up being good for slicing and just eating as is. Um, but, and like I had a couple that were like this that weren't as shiny and they just ended up kind of shriveling. And so sometimes like that one doesn't look like maybe, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But what I have going over here is uh, the last batch of sauce that I'm gonna make. And with those other ones, I, I don't know, I may end up doing that or I may just roast them. So I ended up with tons of stuff, but let me tell you about this sauce. I fried up probably three cloves of garlic, um, just kind of chopped them up and then fried them in some olive oil. Then I put in all of my tomatoes, seeds and all, skin and all, because it's gonna get, you know, it got blended up so you don't have to take the peels off. Uh, added in a, a good amount of Italian seasoning, so it was oregano and, I think it was just basil and oregano, it might have had marjoram in it. And then some, probably about a third of a cup maybe of red cooking wine. And I cooked it until the tomato chunks were soft and then I used an immersion blender to blend it down. And now I'm just gonna cook it for about an hour to try to get that line right there to drop so that it thickens up because it's a little thin at this point. And then I'll freeze it. Okay, here's Monica in her Halloween costume. She hates wearing any kind of clothing, so she feels mortified. I thought she was going to be too fat for it, but it's a little snug, but she's doing okay. We'll